Hello everyone, welcome back to more Let's Glitch Super Mario World. So, I'm gonna go ahead and reload my save file, I don't know why it's on file 2. Um, <laughs> but I'm reloading my save from before I got locked out of World 6, so I can continue the game. Which means I have to replay uh, Chocolate Ghost House, but that's okay, because it's pretty short, and um, I kind of rushed through this level last time, so there might be more stuff I can show this time more thoroughly. Um, one thing I wanted to mention was that the Fishing Boo here, um, he's actually vulnerable to slide attacks, but uh, none of the slopes in this level, none of the stairs are high enough to actually reach his hitbox. Like, you have to actually slide into his body for it to kill him. If you slide into his flame, it just hurts you. Um, and none of the slopes are close enough to his body to kill him, so I guess they thought of that. But, um, you could bring a cape into this level and do a belly slide. Uh, it still wouldn't be high enough to reach him, I don't think. But it might be possible to... Whoops, I'm gonna try to keep my mushroom here. Actually, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I guess. Well, I'm keeping it anyway, whatever. Um, what it might be possible to do is, uh... If you had a cape, maybe you could fly up and clip into the wall up there and do a belly slide in the wall for one frame right when he touches you, and that might actually work. I don't know if that would work. It kind of seems like it wouldn't, but I I don't know. It might. That would be pretty interesting. Uh, of course, you could also bring star power into the level or something um, using the power-up incrementing glitch. Uh, let's try that again. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, now... Yeah, um, well, oh god, I'm kind of screwed this up. There we go. <laughs> Surprised that worked. Okay, um, so now let's head to Chocolate Island 2, which is a lot more interesting. Whoops. So Chocolate Island 2 is pretty unique, uh, because it's the only level in the game that's, uh, that's like this. But, uh, basically the way this level works is, um, the first room in this level is always the same. It's this room with the, like, platforms and dino rhinos and stuff. But the second level, uh, second room in this level is determined by how many coins you got in the first room. So if you get, <clears throat> I think it's zero to eight coins in the first room, uh, you end up, the, the second room is the room with the, uh, like slopes and red paracoupas, I think. And if you get 9 to 20 coins in the first room, then the second room will be a room with a bunch of rexes, I think. Um, and if you get 22 or more coins, or 21 or more coins, rather, uh, it's a room with a... hold on. <laughs> okay, there we go. If you get 22 or, or 21 or more coins, you end up in a room with a feather, which is what I want, so that's why I'm doing that. Whoops. Okay. I'm not sure if my coin counter is actually accurate to how many coins I got because I might have entered the level with some coins. I'm not sure. But anyway. Um, so I can't get through this with Yoshi unless I fly, I guess, because that thing doesn't bounce me high enough. Whoops. No. <laughs> uh, so I gotta pick up sprinting speed here. Oh, I guess I didn't run enough. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, no! I always go a little too far. It's annoying. Okay, this should work. And... There. <laughs> and... Okay, I dodged that dragon coin somehow. I wasn't really trying to, but... Whatever works. Okay, and then this, this room is determined by how much time you have on the clock when you exit the second room. If you have 235, no, 234 or less seconds on the clock, then uh, it takes you to this room with a bunch of bubbles and mushrooms, um, and water, and a dragon coin right there. I think the third room always has a dragon coin, but I think every room has a dragon coin, uh, except for the fourth room, unless... I don't know. Anyway, uh, basically, this room is determined... Uh, by the time. So if you have 235 or more, or sorry, 235 through 249 seconds on the clock, then it takes you to a different room with like 
uh, Dino Rhinos, I think. And if you have 250 or more seconds on the clock, it takes you to the room with the secret exit. Um, the last room is determined by how many dragon coins you have. So since I only have three dragon coins, it's going to take me to this room with the springboard and uh, a bunch of Rexes. And if you have less than three dragon coins, I think, or maybe it's zero, I don't know exactly how many it checks for, but then it takes you to a different room, um, I think. Unless I'm completely misremembering this, but anyway. And if you have four dragon coins, it takes you to a different room with the last dragon coin in it, so you can get the fifth one. Um, but yeah, so that's how that level works. It's pretty confusing. Anyway, let's go back in, because now I have... Um, I want to show something else. I'm going to get rid of Yoshi here. So what I'm going to try to do... Um, so I'm going to set this springboard down, like, right here. Actually, like right there. Okay, so see how Mario's like sliding into the springboard? Um, so basically what the springboard does is it blocks me so that I don't slide off the edge of the slope, but it keeps my sliding animation going. So uh, I'm going to use that to my advantage here because what I want to try to do is... Um, hang on. Uh, I want to kill that guy down there because he's going to be in the way. I'll just kill both of them. Alright, so what I'm going to try to do is take damage while I'm... Uh, doing a belly slide with the cape, and um, the only real way to do that, whoops, I screwed that up, okay, I need to, something like that, there we go, and so now the springboard is uh, stopping me in place, now normally uh, when you're cape sliding, <clears throat> anything you come in contact with will just be killed, because the cape slide is OP. Um, or the belly slide. Um, but certain things will uh, be able to damage you even when you're sliding. Uh, for example, the Dino Rhino's flame can still hurt me, so even if if I touch his hitbox directly, like if I touch his body directly, then he'll just die. But if his flame touches me while I'm belly sliding, then I will... Okay, hang on, how do I show this properly? Um, so I take damage, right? Um, so I'm small Mario, but I'm still doing a belly slide, and if I, whoops, okay, hold on, <laughs> I want to try to show this better if I can, there we go, whoops, okay, well, uh, I need to, there we go, okay, so you might be able to tell right now, maybe you can't because the cloud is kind of uh, making it hard to see, but Mario's invisible right now, you can only see his, um, the little dust that's coming off of his belly. Um, but he's actually invisible. <laughs> um, and that's because uh, they never programmed uh, like graphics for small Mario while he's doing a belly slide, because only caped Mario is supposed to be able to do the belly slide. So if you're small Mario while belly sliding, then you, you're just invisible. Um, if you're... Uh, whoops, wait. I need to... There we go. If you're a Super Mario while doing a belly slide, it looks like this. Um, where <laughs> it, everything looks normal except the top half of his cape is missing. Um, it's kind of silly. And if you are Fire Mario, it looks the same as Super Mario, although you actually can't really do it as Fire Mario because for some reason when you collect a Fire Flower, um, it cancels the cape slide. Uh, but you can still see the, uh, the glitchy, like, animation frame for, like, one frame before you, like, as you're transforming. And it looks the same as Super Mario's, where, like, the cape is, like, cut off or whatever. Uh, anyway, that's probably enough time spent <laughs> talking about stuff in this level. Uh, I, st I need to be able to get the secret exit, and, um, I need 250 seconds on the clock, um, by the end of the second room, so I need to kind of hurry. Um, oh, actually, there is a dragon coin in this level. So, I'm pretty sure that if you, I'm pretty sure that if you, uh, collect Yoshi wings in this level, um, the game crashes. <laughs> uh, there are no Yoshi wings in this level, but it might be possible to glitch some in. Um, I guess the reason the game crashes is because it tries to load the Yoshi bonus game, but because of the way this level is programmed, um, it also tries to load the next room based on how many coins you have or whatever, so it doesn't know what to do and it just doesn't load anything and it's just a black screen. Whoa, Yoshi is bouncing really fast. <laughs> I guess if he's bouncing, like, on the edge of a slope like that, it looks really silly. Anyway, um, 
sorry, I need to keep pausing because I don't want to waste too much time here, but I was gonna say maybe you could dupe that uh, multiple coin block uh, and keep duping it to the side and then dupe over the dragon coin and that would give you a like a key block or something which you could dupe to get wings. Maybe, I don't know exactly if everything would line up perfectly for that, but that might be possible. But the problem is there's nothing you can use to dupe the block with in this room. The only thing you can carry is a springboard, and springboards can't open question blocks. So, that's kind of a problem. Um, it might maybe be possible to use the stun glitch to, uh, <laughs> like, stun a dino rhino or something, and then you can pick it up when it's stunned and then you can use that to open the question block. Although, if I remember correctly, their hitbox is kind of weird, so it's hard to dupe blocks with them, because they, like, interact with question blocks really strangely, or they interact with objects really strangely, so, like, the duping doesn't work exactly the same. I'm not entirely sure if it would even work, but anyway, I'm, I'm kind of rambling about nothing now, so I'm just gonna try to <clears throat> finish this level before the time, or finish this room before the time limit or, uh, reaches uh, 250 seconds. And so far, not good. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say so far, so good, but that's not true. Oh god. Uh, I guess it's easier if I just do this, kind of. Okay, whatever. Let's get in here. So, uh, this is the secret exit room. You just need 250 seconds or more on the clock when you exit the last room. And uh, it'll take you here. Yeah. I missed. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Actually, I wonder if I can... Um... Hmm. I'm not sure which of these... I was gonna try to... Whoops. I was gonna try to see if I could spin bounce on one of these as they're disappearing. Oh, wait. Ah. There's one frame where you can spin bounce off of a one of these blocks on the frame it disappears, but uh, it's also based on sprite slots. I think it only works if the throw block is in like a an even sprite slot instead of an odd sprite slot. It's kind of bizarre, but anyway, I don't know. Okay, maybe this one will work. <laughs> oh god, the timing is kind of hard. I want to see if I can get it to work, just because I do. I don't know. Whatever. Um, okay, I can't get it to work. <laughs> it's possible to bounce on the block for one frame as it's disappearing, basically. Um, anyway, I'm just gonna <laughs> finish the level there. Sorry, I got distracted by that for no reason. I was just, like, mesmerized. Um, I guess I'm just gonna end the video there, because... I don't really, uh, I don't know, I don't feel up to doing another level right now, and I don't really have anything planned, so I'm just gonna uh, end the video here, and I haven't made a video in a while, so whatever. I'm just gonna stop talking, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.